Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Hill. I'm Dr. John Bolden. I'm Dr. Brad Lawton. I'm Dr. Lakshmi Anubralu. I will be getting the COVID vaccine. I'm receiving my COVID vaccine. I'm getting the COVID-19 vaccine. I am getting the COVID vaccine and I think you should too. In order for us to end the pandemic and get back to normal living, the majority of us have to get immunity to the virus. There are two ways for all of us to develop immunity to the virus. One, we can all catch the virus little by little over time and continue to experience the devastating consequences of the virus itself. Or two, we can get the vaccine which will allow us to develop immunity to the virus and not get the disease. I think the second option is a much better plan and a safer plan for everyone. I personally plan to get the COVID vaccine to help protect myself, my family, my patients, and the community at large against coronavirus. The evidence for the Pfizer vaccine clearly shows safety and efficacy against the coronavirus in such a manner that it is imperative that those who can and are able get this vaccine. Children, pregnant women, um, the immunocompromised, those people who are vulnerable and cannot get the vaccine or ha it has not been tested yet um, need to be protected. We have a due diligence to reduce our spread of the coronavirus within our community. I think vaccine is the best tool that we have to protect myself and the people around me, my patients, my coworkers, my family, and even the people in my community. As a treating physician, I want to be able to go home, hug my kids, and not worry about transmitting the virus to them. Also, according to CDC, we need 70% of the US population to be vaccinated to achieve the herd immunity to stop the pandemic, and I want to be part of that. It's a, it's a public health issue. Everyone at this point in the pandemic knows someone in their family, whether it's distant family, a friend, a co-worker, or someone in their extended circle who has been affected by this infection. By getting the vaccine, you're protecting your family, uh, you're protecting your friends uh, from getting infected and also spreading the infection. And with the vaccine, I feel like this is the answer to our prayers. And that's the ray of hope we've been waiting for all these months. Also, we need to reduce the strain on the hospitals and healthcare systems and not get them overwhelmed so that uh, the hospitals may have to start rationing the care. The mRNA vaccine is actually a really exciting uh, technology that's been in studies for over a decade. This is a beautiful mechanism that mimics natural infection um, and is an eloquent way to protect ourselves against the coronavirus. There is no virus in the vaccine. All it contains is a tiny piece of synthetic RNA that's the genetic material that gives instructions to make spikes of the coronavirus and that's how we mount immune response and develop antibodies. So by getting this vaccine, we will not get the COVID-19 infection. First of all, it appears to be uh, very safe and well tolerated by most people. The vaccine is being held to the same rigorous safety standards as all other vaccines in the United States. Also, the vaccines seem to be just as safe for our vulnerable populations, such as the elderly or people with pre-existing conditions. They also appear to be very effective as the first two vaccines being released appear to have about a 95% chance of preventing the illness. That is an incredible success for any vaccine. Overall, the safety um, data shows that most people um, have very minimal adverse reactions to it. There's always going to be people who will have fevers, redness, swelling, tenderness. This is expected with vaccines. And so, in general, with a, a large study that had over 40,000 participants in it, we would have seen huge problems. But once again, it's important to remember that when they do occur, usually they are mild and temporary. I feel that these possible side effects are a small price to pay in helping us to not get the disease and helping us move towards ending the pandemic.
think everyone this being a new vaccine uh, has questions about the vaccine. However, people may not realize that the research for the vaccine uh, foundation occurred 10 years ago and this technology has proven to be very effective. Obviously with both vaccines, the Moderna and Pfizer being 95% effective, um, I'm very confident that the vaccine is safe and effective. Will there be new things that we'll learn along the way as we go? Absolutely. But I am confident that if you are able to get this vaccine, you should get this vaccine. I think it is natural to question, but again, uh, I think the benefits far outweigh the risk in getting the vaccine. Get informed, ask your questions, get vaccinated with confidence so that we can do what's right by and for our community.